Hello and welcome to the Phil and Matt show, your weekly roundup of what's going on in the modelling world. How are we doing this morning, Matt? We all good? Um, very well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, really good. Very, very good. Cannot complain. Sun's come out. Yeah, I know. It's lovely. Yeah, it's not raining for once. It was this morning, first thing at six o'clock, but now sun's out. No, so, it's absolutely, yeah. absolutely glorious out there. It's actually quite warm as well. I think temperature's creeping up, so it's mm. very nice. Say so the nights are drawing out as well now and all oh. the rest of it. So, yeah, it's, it's summer's coming. Yes. Getting quite nice. Nice. Good job. Anyway, uh, really busy uh, so far. Obviously, for me last week, finished off the B25. Thank you for all the very nice feedback on that one. As I said, it's not finished, finished, because we still got to do some weathering because I am going to do a base for it. So I'm going to do a generic base using the old matting stuff underneath it with a bit of stuff so i am going to weather up the wheels and stuff because some people have mentioned about the wheels they're a bit clean well because i don't know why well, i'm going to weather them yet because i've done the base so when the base is done i'll use pigments and things like that and get it all so it marries up with the same thing but hopefully i was hoping they'll be here today but it should be in tomorrow uh, i've got the base coming in uh for it and then obviously we'll do a little video about putting it together and all the rest of it on that one so i will do that one so that one's completed for me and now i've been starting on this little lump so this is the nobody's scale, nobody's thing. <laughs> yeah. Chris Bibby's the designer. It's 3D printed. So something slightly different uh, on this one. So to put it into scale, this is the Bandai 172nd one. Uh, and you can print it this scale. You know, it's a 3D file. and uh, But as I say, I've gone a little bit overboard with it and we've beefed it up. This isn't full scale. This is still technically half scale because the actual this will scale up to 1 18th scale which is an absolute monster but i've gone for this one and again you've got the back of the engines coming onto this one yet but it gives you an idea of how big it actually is if i put it next to you can see it's an absolute tank so it's been started on this one there's a full video coming up for members you'll get the first part on friday i talk about obviously 3d printing where you get the files obviously 3d printing them off and i show all the bits and pieces going through like that clean up everything you need to know about 3d printing to get going and literally the today we've started putting it together so i've got the front end literally is all together sorry that's the instrument panel all right so that is all ready technically for painting now and all the bits so we've got that in we've got the seat comes with two canopies as well so i probably will just use the one piece canopy in there just like that so that does that one and again he's all in and got the guns and all the bits so it is all set and ready it's going together very well indeed and then the back end literally i've just started putting these together so we got these done it is structural so if you wanted to you could put rod or wood or whatever you wanted through these as well to strengthen it up because if you are doing anything bigger than this scale you're definitely going to need it i'm going to use some brass rod to run across anyway because i'm just a little bit concerned about these little stubby wings bending with the weight of the engines because these engines are actually quite heavy or will be when they're all together as well so again we've started putting the engines together so we've got those going on and again it's a case of spot the part we think that might be panther tank not sure but that will come along and it fits on the back end so yes that's the one to that so that will drop in there when i get him wedged in so it's spot the greebly as they say on <laughs> these ones. but uh very very nice very nicely detailed and all the rest of it you even get a little r2 droid as well so a little mech droid on there but again it is beautifully detailed and everything else so again we're going to spend a little bit of time on this one and then what we'll do is maybe at a later date i might come back and do the 118th scale version and we'll led light it and all the rest of it you know go totally to town with it but for the moment that's sort of how we're going but again it's quite funny when you look at this it looks so tiny compared to this thing so uh yeah be fun so a good little fun with that one and the other thing i'm up to at the moment is obviously going to be starting very shortly on the meng apache or the H64D. So working on the Apache for that particular one, I've got the Quinter cockpit set, the rest of it will be pretty much straight out of the box. So we're gonna be pushing on for that. So something a little bit different, 3D printed, bit of resin, bit of sci-fi, and then something a little bit more mainstream as well with the main Apache as we make our way through with that one. So yes, that's what I've been up to so far this week and uh, having a lot of fun with it too. And whilst Matt just wheels his camera in. <laughs> just duck. Dunk. Yeah, duck as it comes duck. through. Duck. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see if we're uh, actually in some sort of shot. There we go. There you go. You're in. There we go. So I have actually been finishing a figure off. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see him. Mm -hmm. So this is a 3D print as well. 3D printing again. Um, and I've just finished painting him up for the tutorial for painting a DAC. 
figure just to go with the 222. So nice. him and his buddy here are finished. So they're ready to go on. And I've been doing the base actually. So here is the base. Zoom back out again because that's a bit close. So what I've been doing is, is just, yeah, as you can see, mm -hmm. getting it ready um, and tidying the sides up because you, you ought to see it underneath it. It's a bit of a mess, shall we say. Okay. So I'm going to let that dry. And um, I did one half yesterday because I've had to do it two halves because I ain't got long enough plastic card to go all around in one. So mm -hmm. we'll trim it off and then we'll just tidy the heads up with a bit of, bit of filler and paint it all black and then we can get on with the, the actual top. So Very nice. that's my plan for that, really. So, yeah, that's coming on nicely. Also, talking of bases, I've managed to board out this one as well. Mm -hmm. So I've just been doing a bit of tidying up work on the edges. So that's it. This is going to be a 1944 one. So that's just drying off as well. And then <laughs> in between, I've been playing about with this look. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, okay. my little vignettes. So I've done nice. the base, and I've 3D printed some figures off, found a nice file. I wanted some, like, obviously, moving, shall we say, a bit of movement. Instead of just stand there pointing and looking. Yeah. yeah. So um, I printed these off actually yesterday. I think I did them. Mm -hmm. Trimmed them all up, the fencing tin look. So I've just weathered and yeah. painted a, a fence, made it look a Very bit, nice. you know, filthy and old looking. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's just a bit of a side project, really. but... I think it'll look all right when it's done, when the figures are done. I think it looks fantastic. Yeah. Very, very nice indeed. So, yeah, busy. You know me. Busy, busy. Lots of little things never, on the go. Uh, never a dull moment. Never a dull moment, no, is there? And then, and then, we've got a book. We have a book, and I can't get my camera out any further, sorry. <laughs> Maybe that's all. <laughs> but yeah, we've had a book, bit of a book delivery. So this is the British version of the Reels to Replica series. Mm -hmm. So if you're into Rolls-Royce engine, didn't it? Spay engines. Spay engine, yeah. And really, you know. Very nice. Got the FGR ones and the FGR twos. Yeah. And some, obviously some nice uh, pictures in here. Yes. All the Royal Navy ones, and then I presume we'll go to the RAF ones at a later date. And yeah. then in the back is got the J in there as well, haven't you? I think they must have a J, yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Look. Hurt, look. Mm, nice, yeah. Um, there you go, look, the F4J. That's it. Okay, look, there you go. Very nice. Uh, and then a bit of a walk around, look. And a nice walk around section. For you Phantom Underwear, that is. That one. Oh, that's the one from Yovelton. Know that one well. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, so we've mm. got some nice walk around pictures. Mm -hmm. That one at, uh, at Yeovilton, like I say, we've seen that one. And this one's at the Hendon one. Yeah. So got a, a Royal Air Force one as well. So nice. quite a nice book, and then I presume it goes for all the colour profiles, like they do in these books, and squadrons, and then at the back you get some builds, look. So, oh, look, here's the Italeri one, which is the old Fajimi kit, I think. It is. Box yeah. of the, which is a nice kit, actually, and it's back in the day, weren't it? Do you know what? I didn't realise they actually did an FGR2. Who? The Fajimi one, yeah. Well, that is definitely the Fajimi kit reboxed. Oh, not... is that the second one? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry yeah it's an FG1, yes. isn't it? Sorry, my mistake. I've built that kit as well. It's a beautiful kit. Yeah, very yeah. nice. They did it as a bit of a limited edition with some other um, Fajimi mm. kits that they did. This is the Airfix one in some second, the FGR2. Very nice. Which um, was a great kit, actually, the Phantom in it. But to be honest, it's a yeah. really, really nice kit. Uh, what's that one? Oh, it's a J. This is an Italy J. Oh, crikey. Wow. Jesus. That's yeah. quite nice as well, actually. We've ever done that. Mm. Good job. Alex. Alex. Mm. Oh, Alex has done it. All right. There he is. Very nice. Good job on that one. Nice one, Alex. Good job on that, mate. Mm. Uh, Ian Gaskill. He's done a, mm -hmm. an FG. Oh, look. The classic. Oh, the J, oh. the, yeah. Has it's a Gow yeah. one reboxed by yeah. Ravel, you know, the, the one in mm -hmm. it. The one and only. Yeah pretty much yes. so so yeah some nice builds in that really nice book so if you're into your RAF phantoms and again obviously mm. we have the the others as well so but that's that's a new one that's out so that's in in the book bit which we'll have a look at later so Very nice all good put that nice. 
get the thing on so you're not looking at a black screen. That's all right. So whilst we're there, I will show them a picture of your lovely 222. And there's the 2222. Let me just pull the camera out. So yeah, there's a, a bit of a beauty shot of the 222. That's, um, I'm just in the middle of narrating. So this video is going to go up because like, I'm being badgered by my producer come editor. <laughs> but it's done all the work and I'm not tactically, you know, doing the final bit. So yeah, I have started because I want it up and out of the way as well. So that'll be a full, full video build of it's not an old build anyway, to be honest. It's a Tamiya kit of, you know, 50-year-old, I think it is, 1974. Nice. Uh, yeah. And I think it's got a bit of upgrades with um, metal grenade shields and stuff. But pretty mm -hmm. much it's out of the box. Just a decent, you know, paint job, really. So I've done, obviously I've done the DAC one, which is for the figures and the base, so that'll all come together. So, yeah. Very cool. Very, very nice. Come together really well, that one. Yeah, thank you. Bless. Very good job indeed. Yeah. Uh, in other news uh, that's going on at the moment, um, Eddard, as we can see here, I'll just pinch their photos, uh, have obviously been wearing work, working very hard on their new tool, uh, P51, uh, is it a BC? It's a BC, isn't it? Yeah. A BC, which we all say is the cool one, because I built the Tamiya one for oh. uh, one of the live shows not so long ago. Yeah. And So yes, the Razyback type version, if you like. And again, we, we we like a nice billet. I can, uh, from my engineering history, I can appreciate that. That's cracking. That is very very nice indeed. But you can yeah, tell why their molds go. are so uh, like you know the kits are so good with molds like that. Mm. Can't you? you know the quality yeah. of their molds you can see, and I know nothing about this, but you can tell that is a you know yeah I'd say a quality billet. It is a quality billet. There's nothing wrong with a good billet, but as you can see, look at the detail down into it. So again, what you're looking at is actually the moulds that make it. So these things weigh an absolute ton because they're under an immense amount of pressure. Mm. Uh, and then obviously what you've got, you've got your, your actual your sprues running down in here and it gets injected into all these fine little parts and all the rest of it. And as you can say, the level of detail and the finish on side them. If you've ever built anything from uh, Ed Arch, you'll know the quality of them is absolutely fantastic. And then you see it down in things like this. Yeah, it's just... That tooling is just different level, isn't it? Because we, I don't think as modelers we appreciate the tooling part of it. Hmm. I know. I've often CAD. said that. Yeah. yeah. We see CAD, don't we? So we we see it in CAD when they're designing it and stuff, and then we see the final kind of kit. Hmm. Yeah. The, the actual, you know, the tooling bit of it and the process hmm. we don't normally see very much, do we? Um, no. Nope. And then when you see pictures like this, and obviously we know that Edward's obviously a, a quality brand anyway, but I think hmm. you can appreciate that's you know that's had to be tooled. Yes. Uh, I know it's been CNC really, hasn't it? I would have thought, but still, yeah, it's proper machine tools now. But it's it probably be finished yeah, by not... hand at some points and all the rest of it. Yeah, it's not quite so... a bloke with armour and chisel anymore, is it? No, <laughs> the <No>. sander. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's it's it. The guy on. with a grinder and a welder yeah. adding bits and taking away bits. But they well, still normally have to be finished slightly by hand as well. Yeah. Uh, for any little defects and, and problems with them. But uh, yeah, I must admit, when you see them like this, the amount of you know heavy duty metal which produces your very fine detail plastic yeah. parts, you know, you can see why the kits are going up in price a bit as well. I know it's called mm. cost of materials has gone up and other things, but actually the the costing of them as well, the actual tooling, yes, yeah, is very very expensive in it. Let's be honest, it's mm. not a cheap do. It's um, you know no. we, we think from Pranjit, haven't we? Really, you know, when we spoke to him and. Mm -hmm. Tooling yep. is 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 a lot a lot of money, um, and you can see why when it's quality like that. So, hmm. but yeah, I must admit, where as you say, you've got this is the actual injection port where it comes in down in here, will then scoot off, roll around the little areas, uh, and everything. So yeah, I must admit, when you see it like this, and again, it's one of those that these um, you know weigh a horrendous amount of weight. They are absolutely. You can see here the backer and the the plate and everything else. They're not light pieces of metal, these either. They're really, really heavy duty. Mm. And again, when these go wrong, they go wrong quite spectacularly. And obviously, you know, you have to make another one. So that's why there's a lot of money invested into this tooling. Um, you know, and it's like we were saying, the raw, more, raw materials of costs just for, you know, the metal work that goes down in here, uh, you know, to do this and all the rest of it and the machining and the finishing and the polishing of the molds and everything that goes with it, you know, again, it, I know people often complain about the price of model kits and that, but you're not buying a piece of plastic. What you're buying is all the tooling that costs to make that bit of plastic and everything that goes with it. Mm. But that is quite, quite something else down in there. 
Do you know why we were on about old kits? Because obviously, like you say now, all all that's done computer aided design, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. You know all the new molds and stuff that are now re- created. But obviously, you know when we were talking about monogram, you know our yes. favourite sort of retro brand of monogram. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. And the detail that they managed to get, and they was handcrafted. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the scale that went into that and old Airfix and mm. Matchbox and Ravel and, you know, all the older sort of, I mean, mm. even the Japanese company must have done it in the 80s because it oh, would have been really so. early yeah. computer days of, ah. I don't even think they would have had the, the computer technology even do that then, would they? Back do in, it. I wouldn't have thought so, not then. Back in the not 80s. Really. So you think it like Hazegawa and obviously Tamiya as well? Mm-hmm. you know from the 70s for even their armor kits obviously i've built one that's 50 year old and it fits mm-hmm. absolutely perfect as mm-hmm. you would expect but you know the the research and the effort that they've gone to for that is i don't think we appreciate it enough if i'm perfectly honest i think we just yeah, take granted don't we yeah and then when it that's sometimes fit, what it, yeah well this is it but that's what annoys me somewhat when you get people and you get the naysayers out there like oh i'm not paying 40 quid for that kit and all the rest of it because yeah, you're not just buying the piece of plastic that's what you're buying is like all that time and effort and the skilled people who can produce a bit of plastic that looks like that and the research as you say and go into it but you know i know from back in my day when i left school um i had a friend of mine and he was going to be a tool maker which probably a good job he didn't stick with that because now it's all cnc and done but he was making stuff like that by hand you know uh for technically was it would be now rolls royce but it was one of those ones where you know people in the sort of 40s as well before you know modern industrial machinery Mm. came along and computers and all the rest of it would physically make a mold by hand you know and then as you say it's really incredible to think of as you say you go back to monograms this day even airfix and all the other manufacturers and tamir and stuff who were producing it in the 70s you know (sighs) We often joke about, you know, there with a yardstick measuring them out, well, yeah, of, no, you know, and I mean, all of that. But no, like going back to Monogram, because Monogram was like really good cockpits. You know, back mm. to be fair to Airfix and like the others, they were just sort of seat a stick in a, in a, in a yeah. floor, weren't they? There was nothing yeah, exciting yeah. about their cockpits, and I don't think there was mm. much before that. And then Monogram came along with their 48th kits, and mm. then they really upped the game because they got some really detailed cockpits. So I'm just thinking of the mould process of actually tooling that cockpit to, you know, I mean, mm. my B B25. Yeah. When I built a 70s kit, mm. um, f- definitely a 50 year old kit, and that has got mm. an off decent cockpit. And then you yeah. can appreciate now, obviously, with computers, with the technology that's moved on, it's, I won't say, yeah, it's a lot easier in it to tool a better mm. cockpit, yeah. you know, yeah. than it would have been mm-hmm. back then, because the amount of time and man hours it would have done to tool that mm. would not be worth them doing the kit no i no, presume so it's obviously no. simplified for that reason that's my guess but obviously now with computer aided design it's a quicker process isn't it mm. i would yeah, say definitely uh, and then so. we're cnc a tooling and stuff obviously if any engineers are on or tooling then they can shoot us down in flames here but i'm only you know again mm. just um it's kind of speculating it's going to be a quicker process and a more detailed one because of the computer obviously helping you along there isn't it so yeah i don't know it's interesting it would be nice to go to uh see it done wouldn't it it would be to see it done and all the rest of it so, again it's, it's, Ed, it's edward knock us up we want to come to your factory yeah can we come over <laughs> yeah we'll come over and have a look we'll have a visit but yeah i think as i say I, sometimes i think that the world's too quick to judge and jump on <gasps> things and all the rest of it sorry excuse the dog oh one sec so live <laughs> delivery to floyd towers <laughs> Yes, apologies for that. Live delivery, literally just one turned up. So, um, yes, let me just have a quick look. Live deliveries, we like these. Uh, Live unboxing. Live unboxing, yes. That is a separate video, Phil. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, that's it, should be a separate video, this. Unboxing video. Okay, they're a bit smaller than I thought. Good job I got two. I think you would need four. How many is in a pack? In, in a packet? In a box? Oh, it, it does the the square area. Expect to review soon. Which one's that soon. one? This is the which one's this? This is the D. CX fifty four D, forty eight scale. Yeah. All right. From Hobby Boss. And again, I've got some bits of grass and stuff. Got some so. foliage. 
foliage. Yes, I've got some foliages as well. So yes, so this is what we were talking about for my base for the B25. Yeah. What's it called? Landing mat. I thought it had a better name. It's got that. a name. I can't remember what it's yeah. called. It has got a proper name. Does it not say on it? No, it doesn't. It just says a landing mat. Do you know no. what? I thought it had a proper name, but I can't remember what it was now. Yeah, I so, thought it did as well. So, yes. Never mind. So, anyway, we've, we've got some of this far. So, let's have a quick skedaddle in here. Just to see how big it is. Box within a box. Box within a box. Ah, build it yourself. <laughs> so yeah, what well, you got? Four sheets. Four oh sheets. okay. Yeah. That yeah, should have enough then. So yeah, hopefully have enough. Should be all right. Anyway, that'll do the trick. So we got that. So we just did. Uh, what I'm trying to do is make a universal base, if mm. you like, for pretty much anything to sit on for photos and stuff like that. So that's the idea with that particular one. E even a Y wing. <laughs> Even a Y wing, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? I'm sure they must have needed something at some point. <laughs> uh, so yes. Anyway, uh, if you are interested in the uh, P51, as we were saying, what it is all about is this. So it's due in, in April. The Royal class is back, which we haven't seen for how long, Matt? Because <laughs> we could. Do you know what? Out. I've been trying to do some research, <laughs> and I want somebody to like. Comment. Leave us some comments. Yes. Leave the a comment when the oh. last royal classes were out. Well, no, the first yeah. and the last and the timeline of royal classes. Because I couldn't, I would have thought on the line somewhere there would have been a timeline of the first royal class from Edward to this one. Yeah. But no, there is. I couldn't find one anyway looking. So, you know, there's obviously everything in between of you can kind of work out a little bit, but without dates, if you know what I mean, on the box arts and box tops. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I think the last one was either the P51 bubble top or yeah. the Tempest, I think. Now, I could mm. be wrong, but I think they were the last Royal Classes that they did. So, hmm. like I say, please leave a comment down below if you know different from me. <laughs> yes. We should probably so, do. <laughs> it is in two flavours. We've got them both up on pre-order. So we've got this one up at uh, 68 quid, or you've got the uh, normal version. Well, if this is like. the dual combo limited dual combo edition, version. which is the D-Day one. The other one's yeah. the Royal Class, so you obviously get more stuff in the Royal Class version. So, yeah, they're bringing both out, yeah. I think, roughly at the same time. Yes. So uh, this one here, if you're going to go with the Royal set, it comes with the Space set, which I'm quite a fan of. I like those. That's the 3D printed uh, yeah. cockpit bits. Uh, it comes with a pin badge with the 8th Air Force uh, yeah. motif on it with a 25 uh, millimeter diameter. Uh, you get wheel wells plugs. So this is this new thing, isn't it, by uh, Omask? Omask, They're like yeah. Foam inserts that basically go in for your your um, wheel wells to you know instead of using a bit of foam or tissue, whatever you normally use to mask up your wheel wells, it's basically a plug in for it. Yes. Uh, that and also you get a poster uh, with artwork from I can't pronounce that. We're calling Peter. He's the one who does all the, the really cool artwork. Yeah. If you're not seeing his artwork. Google his name and go check out his because like that, that's man. his. That's one of his, and yeah. he, they're just yeah. they're just amazing, really. Mm -hmm. They're just brilliant artwork. I tell you what he has done on his site is you know because mm -hmm. obviously the um, thingy program that's at Masters of the Year. Yes, he's done some little like um, videos of digital artwork, but with mm -hmm. the B-17s flying, there's a formation one, and there's a, there's one like the Navigator looking out the window at the other planes, I think it was. All right, okay. And yeah. it, I'd say they're only a couple of minutes, if that, a minute long, but they're absolutely amazing. They're really, really good. Mm. So, um, yeah, I'd go, go and check that out. But, again, nice to get the artwork back as well, because that's, you know, we haven't had that for a while with Edward, have we, at all? No, no, not you at know, all. A little poster and stuff. I hope, I hope that's a thing again, because I used to, you know, that mm. used to be a really good thing of his. Definitely. Um, and for the options, obviously for the markings, uh, you've got quite a few. Uh, you've got 14 so got, apparently. Uh, 14 options. So yes. as I say, we've got this one or we've got the Flying Scott. We've Passion Wagon. The, uh, Passion Wagon. Very one. Berlin Express. Yes. You get uh, both types of hood as well. Is it, a, is it a thingy canopy? Right. You'll see in a minute. That one. Oh, look. Yeah, that one. Yeah. 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 Well, I can't think of the name of it. I call God. that the Spitfire type one. 
<laughs> yeah, there's a name yeah. there. Oh, God. Yes, I can't yeah. remember them either. Uh, but you see, you got some really, really nice... You want that one? Big Mac, oh, look. Yeah. The Big Mac. Got to have a Big Mac. Big Mac with teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. There we go. Quite I always Polish like the one. RAF one, if I'm honest. Yeah. Or the Polish squadron one, really, with the mm. camo and the and the yeah. white nose. I always like that version of, uh, <laughs> of this P-51. Very got to have nice. invasion stripes, haven't you? Yeah. Is that the one I did? Yes, it is. That's it the one I did. Could be. It is. They're very, very similar to the one that I did. Yeah. In fact, I'm looking at it. Yes, it is the one I did. Malcolm no, I did Hood. the Tamiya version. It's a Malcolm yeah. Hood in it. Ah, right. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So, yes. But you say some really, really nice uh, options down in there. Oh, look, Louis III or third. Yeah. Very nice. But again, they're your foam inserts which go through. So, let's just uh, say they're finger foam that's not going to disintegrate under lack of paint. It's EVA, yeah. I think it's EVA foam, yes. which they use, if if I remember rightly, a lot of cosplayers use it for building yeah. suits and props and, and stuff, because yeah, you, you can manipulate it really easily, can't you? Mm -hmm. So just to say, that little billet we were looking at, which was, um, 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 sorry, wrong one, um, oh, I've lost it now, hold on. Nice, it? nice job. There it is, that Good. one there, look. Yeah, there you it go, fuse large arms and rudder. Yeah, there you go. So, again... It's one of those ones where there's a reason whilst it's like that. Mm. People are thinking, why haven't they just shoved it closer together and all the rest of it? There will be a genuine, in, you know, proper good reason over pressures and distances and stuff like that to get it nice and even. So, but again, what, really, really nice. Just why I think that's one thing you don't get with Edward kits is it short shots. No, no. Or, no, or you know, miss moulds or whatever. They're always like really clean, really sharp. Yeah. I think it doesn't look over complicated. It's typical. You know, how many mm. how many props? Good back. Yeah, it's different. Well, as you say, it's a bit like that thing, isn't it, with the curved D props, the flat props, yeah. the big paddle props. Yeah, yeah. there's a few <laughs> yeah. in there. Four types of props. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good Five. though, because obviously different versions are going to, you know, what they like. They're going to use the versions of it, so they've covered all bases with the props, haven't they? So, hmm. and I so, presume yeah. them. 14 versions on there some will have different props to others as well so, obviously so. Yeah. checking your instructions and stuff but your you know um, if you go, go back to the thing for for our um what well, andy port for us will you you are if you don't mind so at the mm -hmm. top of the kit includes obviously two kits 14 for uh, 14 marking options pa paint mask resin wheels seat exhausts and then also and that's why you're getting your royal classes like say the space set and all the other bits to it Mm -hmm. So there's a lot in that, and yes, I presume definitely. it's double. It's doubled up because there's two. Is that just two one of two, it. two kits? So it should be two of each, isn't it? Should be two of each, yeah. So on this one, it's basically the same, apart from you only get is it ten options, marking options for ten. Yeah. Um, so but you yes. don't get a lot of the extras. You're not going to get the thing. Is this is just a, um, you know, like a limited edition one. Mm. So yeah. I don't think you get all the fancy extras like the poster and the wheel mm. well masks and all that. And I don't think mm -hmm. you get any space either with that. It's just PE. No, usual. this one gets the colour. I think it's the colour PE, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. it's, it's yeah. a bit of a profi pack in it. Yeah. And some yeah. masks. Well, again, there's some, we ain't really got any more options of the um, decals for that, have we? So I presume it is different yeah. from the Royal class. I do hope so. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> but, but at least you've got uh, no choice. Hmm. You got the option down there, but yeah, no, really, really nice to see the royal one back though. As you say, I've sort of missed them because they were quite a collector's thing. And yes. uh, as you say you used to get the glass and the various bits of uh, well, plane in it, and a bit, so of and bit of 109, bit of 109, was it a bit of 109 or a bit of 110? I can't remember, I can't you used remember to get now, but yeah, you had a bit of it, Fragment. so yes. hmm. yeah, but no, were... it's nice to get those. It is, it's nice at the back of it. I wonder if they're going to carry on again because we, we do a P40, aren't we? They're doing the P40E. Hmm. Is yes. it doing? Yeah. At some point. Um, yeah. So I wonder if we'll get a Royal Class one of them. I'm looking forward to that P40, actually. It's, I think it'd be I'm nice not building a lot of aircraft again. anymore, but it's a P40. I might actually have a blast at that, I think. Mm. Yeah, definitely. So. Uh, in other news, on the other big front as well, is this little lady is coming out. Obviously, the long awaited uh, Hobby Boss uh, 48 scale Liberator. And again, we've been after a 48 scale Liberator for a while now. About and, 50 uh, years. Prayers have been answered. But obviously, Hobby Boss did the 32nd one, and we thought at the time, oh, we'll, we'll see a 48th. Well, we didn't, but now we have. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, but yeah, I've been waiting about 30 years for this one. Yeah. So, yeah, just just a little bit. I mean, it's only on Monogram 1, isn't it, that's available in a 
as a yeah. B24. Again, properly overlooked um, kit. I know, obviously, they're starting to come out now, aren't they? I think they've run out of B17, so they're moving on to the B24 because yeah. Airfix is coming out, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, there's a re-release of the old Academy kit, which yeah. Mini Craft Academy on the one we built, that's coming back out as well yeah. in 72nd. Obviously, this is coming out in 48th. If you've got it in 32nd as well, so mm -hmm. yeah, I'll, I do. I prefer the Liberator to a B17, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah, I must admit, it's, it's it's one of those things, isn't it? We often say the B17 is the the glamorous one. Yes. Uh, and this is more of the workhorse, and because I know there's various rivalries, isn't it, between the crews about it? And as you say, it's one of those ones where isn't it the B24s faster than the B17? I, I don't know. Is the bomb uh, bigger? I, I don't know. I think it's got a bit of range and this, that and the other. But if you're going to crash in one, you don't want to crash in this one. And because the wheels, for whatever reason, go up into the wheel well, isn't yeah. it, in the wing. So the thing is, it's a really, really weak part. And if you look at a lot of them, when they get hit in flak, whereas yeah, yeah. the V17 would take it, it would snap the wing. Yeah. So uh, because there's not a lot of metal in there and a lot of meat, so uh, unfortunately, it's one of those ones. You don't want to be around too much flak in it and you don't really want to belly land in it. But apart from that, it's fine. Yeah, so, great. Uh... <laughs> About a, pair, a lot of them were built. I, I think it's like the, um, that's like the hurricane to the Spitfire. Yes, it is. And the P-47 the... to the P-51. Yeah. Or, you know, yeah. yeah all, you've all, always got the glamorous side and the, the workhorse side. So, yeah. yes. But again, definitely. if you look at decal options for a, a, a B-24, again, mm. nose arts and and how they wore assembly ships and stuff assembly like that assembly ships well. and the wear and yeah. tear that they went through there's some really really good photos if you search for them and you can mm. you, it's town really with weathering so you can even do that pink one can't you yeah 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 strawberry bitch strawberry bitch yeah there's um there's, yeah there's just some great options for it mm. good air, good good aircraft yes yes definitely so anyway it's really nice to see that one along the last because as i say we've been sort of waiting on that one it's definitely been overlooked, as we were saying. It's quite mm. nice to see. We're going to get, you know, in two years' time, we're going to be going, it's all there. What are we missing? Well, you know, we've got the Marauder, haven't we? Marauder's coming out coming over in a few now. weeks. Obviously, the B25's now out. Um, mm. The A26, B26, yeah. Vader's out. Obviously, the big the big bombers are out now as well, come in. So, yeah, the only one we always said is the A20 and 48th, isn't it? The, uh, the Avoc. Mm. Yes. So I've, I, again, I think that'll be out sooner rather than later. So Yeah, yeah, no, I think so too. So the mediums are pretty much covered, unless you're going a bit mm. obscure. Mm. You know what, yeah. actually, I talked to somebody the other day, and you know what, we need a new tool lock, a Hudson, a Lockheed Hudson. Yes. Because there's one in 48 that I know of without a VAC form, which is the old classic airframes kit, and I had what one. Did, hold on, what did Ravel do? What was they that? did was a Ventura. That? Oh, is it Ventura? Yeah. One after, no, I'm on about yeah. Hudson. And we used yeah. Hudsons, obviously, the US used them and stuff. And mm. um, there's not many out in 72nd, if I'm honest. Mm. It's an old MPM kit, which I don't think you can get anymore. A really, really old Airfix one, which, yeah, you know, perhaps not. No. Um, yeah, it's a proper overlooked aircraft. So there you go. Somebody do as a Hudson, that would be nice. One I just like that big turret on the back. Yeah, yeah. It's just odd. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Just an odd thing to put on it, but it's like a bow fort. It's like an afterthought. Yeah, it is a little bit. It's like a massive turret on the on the spine of it. Um, hmm. but obviously, we're heading for coastal command and stuff, and they always look good in the coastal command colours. So. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. If Fair we enough. say it, it will happen, Phil. That's it what. will because people watch us. Hopefully. Sometimes, perhaps. <laughs> now and again. <laughs> Occasionally. Uh, the other one as well is this little lump. We've got the Power Wagon. We've, we're not sure it's a GMC. I think it's removed a GMC. It. it looks very much like a GMC. Hmm. I think it's a WC52. I think. Right, okay. I could 51 or a 52 or something like that. I don't know. Uh, hmm. But a Power Wagon. That's it. That's it. If it's called a Power Wagon, we need it. Definitely. So obviously this is uh, being released by AK. Mm. So do you get the figure set then? I bet they'll do one for it. Having lunch? Because they've done one for the other stuff they've released, haven't they? You know, mm. the technical they did, the Toyota technical. Yeah. Um, I don't think they did out for the Land Rover mind. I don't know. But yeah, you might you might get some figures. I like the blue one. I think that's pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, something a little bit different. Um, so, uh, but yeah, if you uh, fancy one of them, 
uh, that's going to be coming down the line with you quite shortly, which yeah. is uh, quite nice, I must admit. Yeah. And the other one. Done it is... again. What's that? Sorry, hold on. You just kicked your power. Oh, I keep catching the blooming power lead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Your lights, that's it, his lights are flashing. There you go, <laughs> there you go. he's back. It's strobing. Seamless, seamless. Uh, also, on the side of anything that's an enigma, um, obviously, mini art. Yeah, it's surprised they've took that long because the T55, theirs have been out for a good few years. Mm. Um, so, yeah, the, the Iraqi Enigma reversion, as they called it, mm. has been a while coming out. But, again, nice T55 kit, that, actually. It's a yes. really good, solid kit from Mini Art. So. Mm. I know no, Tammy did, but really Tammy did an Enigma, didn't they? Did they? I don't and there is what. one at Bovington. All right, okay. They've got one. I don't know if it's in the reserves or you can see it, but there's a, an enigma at Bovington, so. Hmm. Yeah. Very nice. But the usual thing with mini art, it looks beautiful. looks really, really detailed. Uh, I keep thinking of tackling one of them, you know, their T55. Not an interior one, but hmm. just a normal standard T55. Because, like I said, yeah. they've been used everywhere and anywhere. Every yeah, yeah. They've been absolutely battered. Because mm -hmm. it's so old now and still being used in places, so there's yeah. the weathering possibilities are endless with them, you know. Mm. And just a quick Google search, and you can find some really good inspirational photos. So, yeah, it might be one on the bucket list to do. I think. Mm. Very nice. Yeah, very it's... nice. But uh, yeah. So anyway, that's about the uh, roundup for this week of what's coming out and what's happening mm. and uh, various stuff. But again, hopefully we might start getting some things dropping in very, very soon with us that are moving around. Uh, yeah, well, we've, we've, we've had a few pre-orders, haven't we? Quite a few pre-orders, mm. actually, last month and beginning of this month. So yeah, um, we've had the Tacom Tigers come in and gone. The F5 came and went. Um, so, yeah, it's all happening. It's good. Keep it up. Yeah. Let's hope this keeps going all the way through summer this year. Yes, yeah, I must admit, if we can keep the momentum up and sort of move it through, rather than last year when it went dead, yeah, then we got a Sea King, then it went dead. Yeah. Makes you wonder if we might see the Sea King, the other version, come out in the summer, or are they going to surprise us with something else? I think surprise us with something new, because they've, mm -hmm. they've not done a big reveal, have they? No. Everything was not what we expected, but it was mm -hmm. safe-ish. Yes. You know, they weren't that, wow, God, that's neutral jack, neutral tornado, neutral whatever it's going to be. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. We just didn't get it, so I reckon, like, say, a 124th scale kit, something big. Mm -hmm. Don't know, but, yeah, I think summer again. We we'll, we'll might get that, uh, get the big reveal. be nice. Mm. I was going to say, how long have we been since the last 24th scale release? Two, three years, So with the Spitfire, is it two years ago? So we might be... No, I think we might wait another year before we see another 24th. Mm -hmm. We tend to recycle them sort of every three years. What, so. 24th Sea Fury? Sea Fury. Well, that, okay, so my money's going on putting it down here. 48 scale Phantom and a Sea Fury. One of them. Right, mine's, mine's on 48th is a Tornado. Right, okay. 24th. Oof. Ooh, I don't know with 24th. That's a, that's a tough one, to be honest. Might be I would a, hope might be they a, do a hurricane. It might be a hurricane B. Yeah. C. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because the Mark 1s, you know, they've obviously had loads of Spitfires, haven't they, from Mark 1s mm. and Mark 9s, so there yeah. might be another hurricane in a, in a B or a C. It'd be nice yeah. to a C one, wouldn't it? Mm. Don't know. So, I must admit, if you're talking 48, I'm going to mm. go, I, because obviously we've had this out, I'm thinking a 48 scale Phantom, British mm. one. Mm. That's going to be out soon. And then obviously we're going to go, I reckon, with a 24th scale Hurricane, I would like as in a B or a Mark II. Mm. And then, but it would be, you know, really nice in 24th scale or a Sea Fury. Yeah. <clears throat> in 24th scale. They're my two, I think. Yeah, that, that, that's good shouts. Yeah. So we're miles off as usual. So we're miles <laughs> so, off. So don't so, forget everybody. So we'll have the 48th Jag. <laughs> yes, that's it. Harrier. <laughs> uh, Harrier also. Yeah, Harrier. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they Again, it's an iconic British aircraft, isn't it, an Aria? So, yeah, why not? Yeah. See, Aria. I know Kinetic's done one, but it, like they always say, Kinetic don't turn money for airfix, do they? No, no, definitely. You know, yeah. 
Mm. I don't know. Interesting. Be it interesting. is. Yeah, so much to look forward to. Anyway, speculation. Don't forget, post down below what you think it will be. Yeah. And then we'll have a sweepstake. I'm just putting it out there now. I'm, uh, I'm hoping for a 148 Hampton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a 48 scale Halifax whilst you're at it. Yeah. Just to dodge that bullet. <laughs> just to dig us out of an hole we've got ourselves into. Yes. That's it. We've got it to all. We can't get out of it now. Hey, we're getting like Laura and Hardy, aren't we? That's another fine mess you've got me into. <laughs> it's one of those that seems a really good idea during the evenings and the cold light of day. It's like, really? <laughs> yeah. No, it'll be no. fine. It'll be good. It will. Cool. Right out right. then. So just to pop over to the uh, PM store. A couple of bits just down in there. Got the last of the specials Yeah. Uh, down in here. This is the last of the Hasegawa bits. So if you want to grab any of those, because once they're gone, they are going to be definitely left the building. Because obviously good. Bill's going to wax lyrical about the Crusader kit, aren't you, mate? And the Starfighter and the Saab mm, well, Draken. Built it, built it, built it. Built Highly it, recommended. Look, we've got another yep. F-86 in as well. Yep, definitely. Yep. Another Sabre. So built it, beautiful kit. Built it, beautiful kit. Built it, beautiful kit. Built oh, it, beautiful yeah, kit. I was going to say the Skyhawk as well, didn't they? So, yeah, 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 no, we're doing well there. The only ones I've done is the Apache. As I say, only because I couldn't get one. At the time when I did my video build of one, I couldn't actually get that one. So I yeah. go down the, I think it was the Academy route. God knows why, but hey. Well, if that's what's available, you could have gone down the Italia route and even, you know. Well, yeah. Luckily at that point, I think there was one app on there. So it's all right. <laughs> uh, another kit I've definitely done is the Jaguar. Very nice kit as well. Considering its age, beautiful little kit that is. Great yeah. one of the Jag. And you might remember a couple of years ago, I did its little, uh, well, the single seat version. There's a little bit of a throwback between both kits, so that was very nice as well. So you can see that one. The hip's a beautiful kit as well, the AMK hip, very nice indeed. Yep. And then, obviously, we've got some other ones. We've got the uh, the Dragon Wagon. Good price on that Dragon Wagon. Big, big. Yeah, chunky. Yeah, it's a good kit, that. Really good kit. Big. Hmm. Definitely. Uh, if you want a Tempest, 48 scale, really nice one, that, as well. Mm. So, uh, yeah, it's the Profi pack as well, so you get the bits down in there. And, again, we've got uh, one of the uh, Sternorps as yeah. well. Stormovic. Oh, sorry, Stilmovic. Mm. It's the wrong one. And the so, gas. Uh, yes, very nice. You get the truck with it as well. Uh, and we've got the Hurricane as well. So, again, that's the nice one because it's got the big cannons on it. So, yeah. Please, that's what, that's nice. what we needed 24th, isn't it? A D. That was the D. one. We need a D, yeah. don't we? D with the cannons on it. Yeah, definitely. The Destroyer and, uh, mode. Destroyer, that was it. So, <laughs> the other one as well is the Washington uh, as well. So, if you want to go for sort of the RF version. How long did we have them for? Not very long then, was Not it? Not very long. Superseded also. by the uh, Valiant, was it? Valiant, I'd was say, yeah. Valiant, first? Valiant then the Valiant. Victor, then Vulcan, was it been? Yeah, that's it. I think so. so or, um, whichever way round it was, or was it the Vulcan and the Victor? I can't remember which one it is, whichever way Which way round it is now, yeah, basically. I know the Valiant was the first one. So, but uh, yeah, so if you fancy any of those ones down in there, obviously you pop over to the PM Models uh, UK.com store. Just click over to the specials area, and plus the fact we've got all your other bits as well down in yeah. there. So we've got. If you just nip into books, books, because we have some like the FAQ books in, and you know a few other yeah. bits and bobs in there. Mm -hmm. um, so if you fancy any of them as well, and obviously, like I say, the Phantom books in, and a few of the others as well. So yeah, yep. so, yeah. If you want that Phantom book, that's just down in there. So, oh, that's the other Phantom book. Sorry. So we've got all your Phantoms covered now. Every Pretty type. Much. Pretty much. So we've got your wild weasels, your phantoms, and then there you go, there's your RF. your RF ones. There you go, that's the one. Yeah. So yeah, any phantom you like, we've got them down there. So yeah, if you want to grab any of those ones, just pop over and you can get any of those as you like at your leisure. You can. So just and a quick thing, we've just had a, last week a delivery of SMS paints again. So we've got some more SMS paints in and back a restock. Tamiya paints are all restocked as well. That's LPs and XFs. Um... Glues are back in as well, extra thin, quick set, white top glue. Um, what else was it as well? And still nothing on real colours. <laughs> Do as know. soon as we hear anything, everyone will we'll let you know. But at the moment, nothing. Nothing. And we are and really quiet. on our bare bones of what's left on the rack. <laughs> so yeah. that's the, that's all I can say. But we've not heard anything. So can't pass any information on or when it's coming out, how long it's going to be or anything, because we don't know. So that's no. it. Um, yeah, we'll go. That's it, really. Sorted. Right. Okay, then, guys, we will leave it right there. I'll be with you tomorrow, members, for the vlog. Don't forget, we got the members' live show on Thursday night Ooh. as well. Sorry. Ooh. Can I have a can I have a shameless plug? Go on, have a plug. 
I've done a review. I've got a review coming your way. I've, I've done review. a few reviews, so we're just filtering them out. But I've done a review, and I've done an absolute classic. Of, mm -hmm. That's as old as I am, um, of the old Tamiya SES Jeep. So, yeah, that'll nice. be up tomorrow. It'll be up on the Flory site and on the PM YouTube page if you want to go and have a look and have a, nice. a nostalgic look at some old plastic. There mm. you go. So, Definitely. yes. So. Good job. Right. OK, then. So, yes, as I say, uh, with you tomorrow for the vlog, we've got the live show for members as well for you on uh, Thursday night. Have we opened the questions yet? Uh, yes, they're did open. You, do, you did, did it. it. Matt, did it? Did I do it or did you do it? You did it. Did I? I yeah, yeah, you, you must have done it yesterday morning. Oh, oh, right. Okay, fair enough. As long as I have. So if you've got any questions for us, guys, just post them up in the usual place. Uh, we'll add yours on the show as well. All the gang will be on for that one. And then, say, first part, fingers crossed, well, it will be, uh, you've got up as well, is going to be working on this little resin beauty as well with the Y-Wing. So that'll be up with you on Friday. Ooh. So, yes. And then job. something big going off at the end of the month. Yes. So Easter weekend, which yep. is the whatever date it was uh the back end yes. uh we've got special shows for you in the morning saturday and sunday morning as yes. well and some stuff on the we're Thursday having the easter build we're aren't we easter build special easter build where i'll be tackling okay i wanted to do forever is the little 70 second scale sword t45 two seater lightning yeah so quite fancy to do it i'm going to do it in those markings and colors as well because it'll go very nicely with my other one so uh yes very nice. Yeah, we're going to Easter build off, so we're going to start Thursday and probably mm -hmm. run it till Bank Holiday Monday. I know it's Easter, but we'll probably run it, yeah. uh, and then we'll be on like the Thursday night, and then the Saturday and Sunday morning night we'll be coming on. And uh, yeah, yeah, it should be fun. Shows. And then, so yes, hmm. yeah. looking forward to it. Be a good one. Right. Okay, then, guys, we will leave it right there. Happy morning. Take care. We'll see you soon. Say goodbye, Matt. We're out of here. Bye. Bye.